And what you're seeing right now is a brand new lip syncing tool that not many people know about. Bring it back, tap the screen, drop a light, show me love. Yeah, so we got some cool stuff to cover. Let's get into it. All right, so first we have Heijin Avatar 4. Let's take a look. All right, Heijin just released Avatar 4, and it's absolutely mind-blowing how realistic AI avatars have become. The new Avatar 4 update lets you create lifelike videos in seconds using just a photo, a script, and your voice or a generated voice. Their new audio to expression engine analyzes your voice tone, rhythm, and emotion to generate incredibly photorealistic facial movement. We're talking natural pauses, head tilts, and even micro expressions that make these avatars nearly indistinguishable from real video. These avatars are getting so perfect that entire industries are about to be disrupted. Let me show you how it works. I uploaded a photo of myself and added my voice. Hello everyone, like and follow for more AI. Bam. Bam, quite good. Now let's try something wild, an animal doing a podcast with a Hey Gen voice. Hello, I'm a dog doing a podcast. I am testing the ability to do non-human avatars. So I'm actually a huge fan of Hey Gen. I've been using it for a long time. In fact, a lot of the videos on this YouTube channel are created using my Hey Gen avatar. This is my Hey Gen avatar right now. And now back to my real self. I would say it comes out pretty good most of the time. In fact, most of you are probably more familiar with the Hey Gen version of me right now versus the real version of me right now. But let's go ahead and have the beloved Cura present this new Hey Gen feature. Sure, Scotty. So previously with Hey Gen, you would have to come right here to create a new avatar, click this hyper-realistic avatar, and then you have to upload a two-minute talking head video, which the AI uses to train that avatar. However, supposedly with this new Avatar 4 feature, you can just use a single photo and it should theoretically still be able to come out pretty realistic. So let's try it. For this test, I'll be trying to make this picture of myself come to life and speak some sort of script. So I'll bring in the image here. Now, if you're using a typed script, that always sounds a little bit robotic. So instead, I'm going to upload a pre-recorded audio right here. So I just have to drop the audio recording there, click add audio, and now we can generate. Okay, and so after waiting for that, here's what we got. So this, so this is, is the, the uploaded, uploaded audio, audio to, to test, test Avatar, Avatar 4, 4 with Heijin. Hopefully, Hopefully it looks, it looks really, really nice. nice. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And if I were to compare this against my previous method, here's the two side by side. So with Heijin Avatar 4, considering that it's able to do that off of just a single image and an audio clip, I would say that's pretty good. However, compared to the clip on the left, I think it still looks just a little bit stiff and lacks a little bit of expression. But let me know what you think down in the comments. Speaking of lip sync, what you're seeing right now is a brand new lip syncing tool that not many people know about. The tool is called Hummingbird O. This is something that's available right now. You can use it through Foul. And so if we click here, you would simply drag in your video clip that you want to lip sync, and then you would drag in your audio clip that you want to match it to, and then just click run, and that's it. I also made a version using Kling AI's lip sync feature, so let's put these two clips side by side and see if there's any difference. Speaking of lip sync, what you're seeing right now is a brand new lip syncing tool that not many people know about. Nicely done, Kira. I gotta say, I think Hummingbird looks a little bit better than Kling in my opinion, but of course, let us know what you think down in the comments. In other news, Suno just released version 4.5. Let's take a look. 4.5 just dropped and it's crazy good. You type in a prompt, it generates a song, let me show you. This is a story about a guy who has blonde hair. He uses so much product you can smell it in the air. He's scrawny like a stick bug and he's got the face to match. He's a heck of a guy, a loyal friend, and really quite the cat. Really? No, he's a loser. Look at the way he sits in his chair. A loser. When AI wins, he won't be spared. A loser. One more thing, no one likes him. A loser. That's pretty impressive. Let's give it a try. I'll just come to create with 4.5. Now, I like that you could just click the dice right here and it's just gonna scroll through different suggestions and then you can kind of build off of that. In this case, I'm gonna put in the prompt, surreal funk rock song about an AI content creator that wishes he could get more views. So let's see what we get. And so I generated a few different versions here and I kind of like this one. Let's give it a listen. So 
still got me. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, it's all right. Which, by the way, if you have more nuanced questions about any of this stuff, Scotty offers live Q&A calls in the Creator Secrets community on school. He shows everything from creating AI influencers like myself to content automation and professional monetization so you can maximize your earnings. He also covers the best AI niche categories and the best tools to create anything you can imagine along with all the prompt resources and workloads for professional AI filmmaking. The link for this will be down in the description below. So I'm a huge fan of Suno. I think Suno really gets the best results when it comes to music. But for those of you that are looking for a free open source alternative, this is a tool called Diff Rhythm. And with this, you can put in all of your song lyrics right here, and you can put in some reference music. So it will sort of, you know, sound like the reference music that you put in here or you can type in your text description here, kind of similar to Suno. Um, this is the default settings. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click submit and see what kind of output we get from this. Okay, so here's our result. Let's check it out. Moonlight spills through broken blinds. Your shadow dances on the dashboard shrine. Neon ghosts in so there you go. I don't think this song is going to be winning any awards anytime soon, but I'm sure if you tinker around with the settings a bit and just, you know, generate a handful of different versions, you might be able to get something pretty decent out of here. Installing it is super easy. You just come right here to Pinocchio. Pinocchio is a tool that allows you to run a lot of different open source tools. And so you'll see Diff Rhythm right here on the list. And so you basically just go through the process to download it, and then you can install this and start using it. Moving on to image generation, one of the image gen tools that's getting a lot of attention right now is Ideogram 3. Let's take a look. Ideogram just released version 3.0 today, and it's pushing AI generation to a whole new level. This update focuses on four major improvements. Enhanced realism with precise lighting and color control, text rendering, new style references feature, and fast generation speeds. Let me show you what happened when I put it through my standard testing suite. Starting with my typical prompt, bam. It has a definite improvement. The images have better detail and vibrant colors and incredible lighting effects. Prompt adherence, perfect. I tested it with a bear standing on a chair holding a duck. Okay, cool. So let's compare this to some of my favorite image gen tools and see if it's actually good. So for the first thing, I wanted to test out the realism of the model. And so this is the prompt that I used. You can go ahead and just pause the video here if you want to check out that prompt. Um, it's basically prompting a snow leopard in the mountains. And so here is the result that we got. This is the one from Ideogram 3. This is the one from Midjourney. This is what we got from ChatGPT. And this is what we got from the realism model inside of design. So zooming out here, I have to say, I think the Ideogram 3 version probably looks the most digitally rendered. I mean, if we zoom in here, we can see that it does have that sort of AI airbrush digitally rendered look. The Midjourney one, I think, maybe came out the most uh, majestic, I guess you could say. ChatGPT did a really good job here. And then coming over to design, this one probably looks the most like an actual photograph. It's not the highest quality, but it looks the most real, I guess you could say. So in terms of the realism test, maybe design won this one, but we really got to give it to, to Midjourney here. I think Midjourney did a, a really good job on this one. Although it is missing that big bushy tail that's indicative of the snow leopard. So I don't know, maybe we got to give this one to design just on the basis that it does look like an actual photograph. Okay, so now moving on to the prompt adherence test, I'm just going to kind of go through these elements one at a time to see um, if it captured all these things. So in this case, it's saying a panda wears a, le a weathered leather wizard hat adorned with silver runes. And so coming over to ideogram, uh, leather wizard wizard's hat with um, silver runes. Yeah, I'd say it got that. Um, it's balancing expertly on a skateboard. Yes. In Times Square, yes. The panda grips a glowing sapphire orb in its left paw. Uh, so in this case, it's actually in the right paw, but um, not bad. Okay, emitting soft ambient light that casts blue reflection on the puddles below. 
Um, yes, exactly. Its right paw brandishes a wooden wand carved with intricate symbols. Okay, so it's actually holding it in the left paw, but our right. So technically, the way that you look at it, it could be right or wrong. Um, but yeah, it's got a wooden um, wand with symbols on it. Okay, and a monkey with golden eyes perches, perches calmly on the panda's left shoulder. So again, it's kind of looking at our perspective rather than the panda's perspective. So I'm going to give it a pass on that because it's technically right. And what we're seeing here is a monkey holding a sign that says Crater Secrets. Absolutely perfect. Behind them, a holographic billboard displays like and subscribe. The camera captures the scene from a low angle 35 millimeter lens perspective with cinematic depth. Okay, so coming over here in the background, like and subscribe on the sign. And so I would say Ideogram got this just about perfectly. Um, every single element was captured on this image, I think. And I should also note that I'm basically choosing the best out of four. So each image generator, um, I created four images and took the best one out of the four. Moving on to mid journey here, we're seeing a lot of issues. The monkey is not on the shoulder. There's some weird stuff going on with the paws. The text is not accurate. There's nothing behind the panda. There's no silver runes on the hat. And so yeah, all kinds of problems there. Moving on to ChatGPT. For ChatGPT, I would say it got pretty much everything accurate. In this case, it is actually working off the panda's perspective rather than our perspective. And so the monkey's on the left shoulder. Now, the one thing that it's missing here is the monkey is the one that was supposed to be holding the sign. And again, I tried this four times and all four times, uh, for whatever reason, the monkey was not able to uh, hold the sign. Uh, but other than that, I would say it got everything else pretty good. Um, we are seeing the sign that says Creator Secrets. We are seeing the background sign that says like and subscribe. We've got silver runes on the hat, the intricate wand with the designs on the wand, blue ball, skateboard, reflection off the pavement. Great job from ChatGPT. And then moving on to design right here. And kind of like Mid Journey, we're seeing uh, all kinds of problems here. It's actually not that bad. It did capture most of the elements aside from the text uh, not being legible. There's no sign in the background. Panda's not holding a wand. Overall, it's kind of OK. So in terms of the prompt adherence test, um, yeah, I would have to give this one to Ideogram 3. I think Ideogram 3 did the best job here of capturing all the elements aside from the confusion on whether it was working from our perspective or the panda's perspective. Other than that, it nailed everything perfectly. So Audiogram 3 is accessible through a number of different tools right here. We're in Crea and you can switch this model to Audiogram 3. For those of you that are using FreePick, you can come right here to Mode and you can switch it to Audiogram 3. Or if you don't have any of those tools, you can use Audiogram 3 directly through Replicate right here. So there you have it. And don't forget, if you want to learn how to properly monetize your AI content as efficiently as possible, be sure to come hang out in the Creator Secrets community. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Bring it back, tap the screen, drop a light, show me.